the three crew members getting ready to depart, all from Expedition 56, going from left to right. It's Drew Foistel, a NASA astronaut and the outgoing commander of Expedition 56. This was Drew's third flight into space, having previously flown on two shuttle missions, STS-125 and STS-134. In the middle there, Russian cosmonaut Oleg Artemyev, and he's going to be the Soyuz commander for the evening. This was his second flight. Uh, and in this full picture of Expedition 56, uh, the third departing crew member, Ricky Arnold, there on the right, uh, a NASA astronaut. This was his second flight, a uh, veteran of one previous shuttle mission. And so just now the crew getting the go to begin the hatch closing. So all now saying farewell. Uh, these uh, crew members have been together for the last couple of months, uh, ever since Prokopiev, Gers, and Anna Chancellor arrived in June. But after they're done saying goodbye, Foisel, Artemyev, and Arnold making their way into the Soyuz spacecraft, and they'll be closing up the hatches. Okay, all the best, guys. Now we can see the crew members down in the Soyuz spacecraft. Again, there's two hatches, so there's one on the Soyuz itself, and there's one on the station side, which we can see Russian cosmonaut uh, Sergei Prokopiev has a hand on. He's the gentleman in the headset floating there inside the Poisk module. Okay. Remember the very best. Okay, all the best. Bye. Hatch is closed. I'll please provide the commentary. Yes, I'm closing the hatch. Hatch is closed. And the hatch closed on the Soyuz. Now Procopia will work to close the hatch on the station side. The Soyuz hatch getting closed at 12.04 a.m. Central Time, 1.04 a.m. over on the East Coast. Closing. And this, we're actually already getting video from the Soyuz spacecraft itself. This is the camera on the outboard uh, looking down the vehicle towards the back end, so looking towards the, the service module. You can see the solar array going out to the uh, top left corner of your screen. The command has been issued. And you're going to send our five commands. Our five. And so getting confirmation, the undocking command has been sent and the hooks are driving, so they're beginning to retract. Again, it takes about a minute and a half. And separation. Separation confirmed at 2.57 a.m. Central Time, 3.57 a.m. Eastern Time, with the station flying 255 statute miles over Madagascar. So with that, the Soyuz MS-08 vehicle has undocked. It's now departing away from that Poise module. This is a view right from the top of the spacecraft looking back at the International Space Station. Here we can see it slowly backing away. And with that undocking, Expedition 56 has formally ended on the space station, and Expedition 57 has begun. This one actually showing a view from the Soyuz spacecraft itself. Uh, you can see on the left side of your screen, that's a camera right on the end of the nose cone uh, of the uh, orbital module looking back at the station with the Earth below.
And getting confirmation, the deorbit burn has begun. Again, this is planned to last four minutes and 39 seconds in duration, but the deorbit burn has begun. In confirmation, the deorbit burn has ended. The engine has been cut out. And getting a report from the visiting vehicle officer, the modules have separated uh, based off the telemetry that they're seeing. So again, the orbital and uh, service module separating from that descent module uh, for them to ultimately burn up and allow the descent module to do its controlled re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere, uh, followed shortly thereafter by the deployment of uh, the parachutes. First, the drogue chute, uh, which will do its initial slowing of the vehicle. And once uh, they get a little bit lower, the main parachute will deploy, ultimately slowing the vehicle down to uh, just about uh, 7.2 meters per second uh, and allowing some heat to dissipate from the heat shield and then the soft landing engines firing just a little under a meter off the ground. And then the vehicle. And we're already getting some video and as we can see the Soyuz spacecraft under parachutes already. already getting a great view from ground teams there at the landing zone. Again, uh, that off-gassing you're seeing is hydrogen peroxide used to fuel the reaction control thrusters on the Soyuz spacecraft uh, being expelled prior to the actual touchdown. The spacecraft already under parachute beginning its descent to ground at Kazakhstan. It's going to continue to descend under this parachute all the way down, eventually slowing to about 7.2 meters per second. Once it's just about a meter above the ground, uh, which we may or may not see depending on where uh, the ground camera is located, uh, some soft landing engines will fire six engines uh, to slow the Soyuz's descent rate to a final one and a half meters per second. Those will fire just off the ground about two seconds prior to landing. Again, landing was targeted for 6.45 a.m. Central Time. Uh, we'll see if we get an actual time. Oh, and there we see the heat shield being expelled from the vehicle as planned. And we are just about one minute away from planned landing. You saw a helicopter pass by just in the background. They're circling around, waiting for the capsule to touch down. And it's going to continue to travel under this parachute until it's about one meter off the ground. And then you might see some dust kicked up. That's the soft landing engines firing just to do the final slowing of the spacecraft before it touches down on the ground there in Kazakhstan. It's supposed to come uh, at 6.45 a.m. Central Time. So we'll continue to follow along. We should be seeing a landing any moment. Touchdown. Landing coming at 6.44 a.m. Central Time, 7.44 a.m. Eastern Time. Ricky Arnold, Drew Foisel, and Oleg Artemiev back on planet Earth. So one by one, the crew members will be extracted here momentarily. We expect uh, the uh, Soyuz commander, Oleg Artemiev, in the center seat of this descent module uh, to be brought out first followed by uh, Drew Foistel and Ricky Arnold, who are flanking him as they were for launch 197 days ago. Uh, they will be uh, brought into the medical tent uh, for early uh, medical evaluations uh, before they are placed in individual helicopters to be flown two hours uh, to the northeast of here, to the town of Karaganda, where we began uh, the stage of landing operations very early this morning. Artemiev is now out. He's being helped uh, by 
uh, search and recovery personnel will be placed in the center seat uh, that you'll be seeing hopefully here in a minute. And uh, then we'll get the, the two American uh, astronauts through Foist the Expedition 56 Commander and uh, Ricky Arnold, his flight engineer. Out of the Soyuz, Ricky Arnold completing a year of education on station was just a spectacular, breathtaking touchdown. The uh, second of the crew members now being extracted. Uh, we'll see who that is here in a moment. And this should be, uh, I believe, you should be Drew Foistel. Yes, indeed, Drew Foistel, out of the Soyuz MSO-8, being brought uh, to his uh, chair. And Ricky Arnold uh, will follow in short order here. All right. And Drew out. Drew again, the commander of Expedition 56, just wrapping up his third flight. Veteran previously of two space shuttle missions. And Ricky just now coming into view for all of our viewers. We can see him getting lowered down in the chair. The third and final crew member out of that Soyuz spacecraft. A big smile already coming from Ricky, again, who just wrapped up his second space flight, having previously flown on shuttle mission STS-119.